Hello everybody! Uh, I just wanted to take a bit of time to show you how to make a timeline, the beginnings of a timeline, for your homework. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to the Timeline JS website and create a copy of the template. You're going to want to notice rows J, sorry, columns J and K, the headline and the text spots. This is where you're going to be doing most of your work for the time being. You can ignore everything else, okay? Um, now, on the right side of the screen, you'll notice that I have the um, story and plot document that I had created a while ago about the black cat. This has plot elements. It's also got story elements. I strongly encourage you to write down all of the events that you can remember happening in the story. You'll want to go back through the story, write them all down. You can put it in a Word document or a Google document or something like this. And then you're going to start populating columns J and K of your timeline. In column J, you want to put the headline, the thing that will sort of appear as a sort of a title on each slide in your timeline. So you want to make it short, sweet, um, you know, specific. And then in column K, the text part, you can add a bit more detail about um, that particular plot point or topic in the, the short story. Um, you might consider using a quote from the short story, copying and pasting and adding the um, page number there, uh, and so on. You have a lot of freedom with this, uh, but just remember that your goal is to get as many points of action and things that you know about the story world from the Cask of Amontillado into column J of the timeline. Okay? So I'm going to go through this and do uh, several other um, examples and that way you can just sort of see what I'm, what I'm doing. Um, you notice that I will pull just sort of indiscriminately from the plot side or the, chrono or the story side of my working draft, like doc, uh, my notes, okay? Uh, you can do the same thing. Um, you do not have to worry about order of events right now. Uh, you just want to get uh, as many plot points and story points into column J and a bit of explanation in column K to populate your timeline. Okay? And this document is what you will share. The spreadsheet is what uh, the sample timeline um, document, the root of your um, timeline project, this is what you will share in the discussion board, okay? Uh, and that is what I'm looking for for class on Monday. Remember, we are not meeting in class personally on Monday, but you will continue working on your uh, timeline um, for homework, okay? And post uh, an updated version of your timeline spreadsheet to the discussion board. So you're going to be working on this on your own for the next several days. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing what you come up with.